just like pie Best thing in all the world I never change up for anybody else I'm skin girls Your skin just like pie Best thing in all the world I never change up for anybody else since last year um as you guys know i'm just gonna get right into the video as you guys have read from the title and seen from the thumbnail today we are gonna be talking talking that talk <laughs> i'm going to be talking about the enemy the enemy the enemy the enemy the enemy is always working the devil is always working and I felt like this was the perfect time. This is the per perfect comeback video because it's a few things that I want to discuss. Um, I should guys know, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, when I get to doing my talks, I am, I always speak everything from experience. Like I'm never gonna talk about something that I don't know about from experience. I'm never just gonna talk about something just because, no, there's always a reason on why I'm speaking on something here make sure you like comment and subscribe i have videos coming okay this was a while back you guys i was at a point where i felt a little lost okay and which is a little bit of reason why i lingered into like the end of the year with my goals i feeling i felt like my goals and my dreams was hitting like a point where like i felt a little lost um mother first and everything else play and pleasure comes after like i have to handle my business first so it was a point a while back where i did feel a little bit lost in my life and the only reason why i say that is because i could never really understand why i just kept being hit left and right with bad things when I say bad things, I mean like anything that could go wrong at this time in my life was going wrong. And I, um, the crazy thing is, you guys, I watch a show on Netflix. It's called Good Girls. If you guys have not watched Good Girls, make sure you guys go watch Good Girls on Netflix. But I watch a show called They Are Moms, Wives, um, um, with, you know, financial issues and things like that. Things that um come into their life um that they have to handle financially and obviously in the show they had a lot of finances and things that they could not afford um so they were best friends i'm not gonna tell you guys about the show but basically they were good people they were good people they were just going through a hard time and they had to do what they had to do for their family for their children one of the women on there one of her kids actually was really sick i think her daughter had cancer or something like that um but yeah they were good people um but at a point they had to do what they had to do not saying what they did was right but a time that they felt like i have to do this and they got deep into doing things that was not them and so um they were still good people though like and I'm using that as an example because I have always been a person of whys, but like I've learned, um, even like when I pray, I try to leave the word why out of my prayers. I try to not ask God why, why me, why did this happen to me? Um, because I'm learning a little bit more deeper into like my spiritual side, like to not question God. You shouldn't question God because usually when things happen in your life, it's a reason why, or there's a reason why God is putting you through that. But me, you know, being human, I still was questioning like, why, you know, like, why is this happening to me? And I just never understood why, because I know I'm a good person. People, good things happen to bad people. And you know god is he's forgiving he will always forgive your sins but i was just like okay i'm doing like <laughs> what is it like what do you want from me you know and it was a point where i just felt a little lost in my life where i felt like this is not making sense like i don't understand like i mean it was to the point where, like i was frustrated with like work I, but the devil was really working it was a point i don't remember what month it was but it was a point where the devil was just working okay the devil was just like i see you brie 
And I see you're doing good. And I see you're happy. So I'm going to fuck with you. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I felt like, okay, he chose me. Like, so, um, anyways, I didn't get on here to, like, be sappy about things. I got on here to speak solely about how the enemy is always trying to bring you down. The, like, the enemy could be the closest person to you. Like, seriously, you guys. Like, for some people, the enemy could literally be the person you're sleeping next to could be the person you're married to sometimes the enemy can be your own family your parents your friend like the enemy has no boundaries like anything but i feel when i am consistent with things i see growth within myself and when i fall off i see when i fell off God wants consistency. He wants consistency in your life with whatever field or whatever it is that you decide to do. And I know this during this time in my life that I'm talking about. What's wrong? How things can deteriorate. And the enemy wants you to give up. Starting to feel like I started during this time in my life, I started feeling like I was giving up. And I never gave up. I never give up. But I it's the enemy wants you to throw away your faith, wants you to throw away your faith with God, throw away your faith in like what it is that you're trying to do. It's how it ends. That's when you have to realize how far you've come, where you've come from, and you have to be persistent and consistent with whatever it is that you're doing. So for me, and like I was saying, I notice consist when I do things consistently, I, I see growth within myself. And that's how I knew at this time in my life, I knew something wasn't right and I'm a person that I act quickly <laughs> like I'm like okay I'm not happy right now I feel like I know why I'm not happy and I need to do something about it and I used to be way well off worse than just what I just said it's to the point where like if I felt upset about something I literally would just be upset and in my feelings and cry and mope and I've noticed the growth within myself. That's just not me anymore. I can't mope and mope anymore. Like, I have to get up and I have to myself that I'm going to get through this. Like, I'm going to get through this. Like, at the end of the day, I don't have, you know, really, I only have myself. So, during this time in my life where I felt as though I was feeling lost, I was like, okay, the devil is working to tear me down, but it's not going to happen. And... I just had to trust. I had to trust God. I understood like what it is like. For one, we live in a very judgmental world. This world is so judgmental. So it's hard enough to even like call someone up and talk to them about your problems or what you're going through. Because initially, a lot of things that I've heard or hear is someone not really listening or like giving you advice. For help they're most they're more so listening just to kind of like tell you all like oh well maybe if you would have did this different like that's not what I was looking for that's I'm like I don't care I'm just not gonna talk to anyone I'm just not gonna call anyone I am just gonna have to get through this on my own like I'm just gonna have to trust God I'm just gonna have to trust and believe that I'm gonna get through this time where the enemy is really working I was like, I'm just going to have to trust God that this is just temporary. The way that I'm feeling is just temporary. And that I did. <laughs> and I kept my faith. And I was like, you know what? God will never bring me so far in my life for me to give up now just because a few little things did not go my way. And not to say that that's why, you know, I felt like the enemy was working, but I did feel as though it was just a lot of different things hitting me left and right, left and right. I mean, I would wake up and it would be bull crap that like, I just was like, yo, like, can I go to sleep and wake up and you know, everything be good. It was at a point where I was like, yo, I wake up, I look at my phone, there's bullshit. Or I wake up, I go outside, or just just crazy stuff that it just felt like it was coming at me so quick and I just didn't understand why because I'm like Lord like what am I doing like I don't understand 
I'm a great mother. I get up, you know, <laughs> to do things by God. I just didn't understand, you know, and I was just like, okay, all right. So then and there, I was like, yeah, there's something, there's something. There's, and I knew it was because God saw mu so much more in me than I see in myself. And it reached a point where I had to just start really self-evaluating myself and be like, okay, what can you do to fix why you're feeling like this? I know that you're going through a hard time, but it's, for me, it, things are always deeper than just going through a hard time. I always am like, there's a reason why, you know? And although that doesn't necessarily mean anything all the time, like sometimes you just go through a hard time mentally, physically, or financially in your life, and you're just like, why? Sometimes you just go through it, but majority of the time, for me, I always know there's like a deeper reason why, and I'm like, okay, is it me? Is it something that I need to fix? I need to fix my attitude. I need to, you know, fix the way I go to sleep at night. I need to, you know, make sure I get up and pray more and do things accordingly different so that I can get different results like you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result for me I'm a fitness girl I don't judge anybody who doesn't work out or who doesn't eat right but for me I can't you know go eat a certain thing and expect to see results in a week when I'm continuous continuing to work out like I have to eat right you have to do things right to see results you know you can't go you cannot work a job and come to work late every day and expect to not get write-ups and expect to not get fired and expect you know the good to come out of that like it was it's just insane <laughs> you have to as cliche as it sounds walk by faith walking by faith like you will reach a point where like you're maybe like very 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 low in your life or you're just you're doing everything that you possibly can do for your family or whatever the case may be <sighs> moral of this video you guys is god does not want you to quit ever when times get hard or things get tough or you're mentally mental gets going god just does not want you to give up i don't care if there's 10 people walking in purpose you're walking in purpose you have a purpose in this life so you have to be persistent and consistent with whatever it is that you are deciding to do which is why this is the perfect timing for this video you guys because I noticed all my things that I loved to do. I had to take a step back and reevaluate me and be like, okay, look. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am very happy to be back posting on my channel and just bringing you guys good content. You know, I do supporters who will like DM me on Instagram and you know asking me am i okay am i still gonna be posting videos and things like that and you know i'm always like oh i'm gonna post a video i'm gonna do a video and i just you know i had to make time for myself mentally it's very 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 important to me and i needed that time to just refresh have been watching me on my journey as far as like just my life in general as being a mom and still learning this new life so, Ooh, stay tuned for new content, y'all. Okay, see you. That's like fine. I'm singing all the words. I'm gonna change it for anybody else. I'm skin girl.